Hey everybody, how are you guys doing today? Uh, tonight. Again, it's night time. Um, honestly, uh, I honestly wish I got this guy out sooner, but, you know, life is complicated and stuff happens. So, here is the, uh, custom Triceratops fully done. Yeah, it took forever, huh? It's alright, though. You know, uh, the best things usually take long. So, uh, yeah, here he is. In all of his glory. So it was um it was funny cuz uh this guy is mostly uh inspired color-wise by the prehistoric park triceratops. Um you know, the one with Nigel Marvin and all that. And there's a triceratops in the show called Theo, and while I don't remember if he specifically looked like this, uh, the Triceratops, I remember in the show, had, they had beautiful colors. Honestly, I wasn't too big of a fan of the tri of the T-Rex look in the show, like how the, how the Tyrannosaurus looked. But the Triceratops was just gorgeous in the show. They were, uh, yeah, they were very pretty. So I based a lot of this guy's coloration off of them, with the exception of, like, say, you know, the legs and, uh, you know, like in the in the show that uh, they had. Two eye spots. Here, let me move the Orgo grunt car around really quick. Move him over to the side. Um, you know, for example, they had two eye spots. My Triceratops has six of them. Just because, you know, that's the design of his frill. Uh, speaking of which, the weird design for this thing. Yeah, I guess to begin, well, he got quills on his back. Because I remember for a little while, probably back in like 2014... You saw a lot of art with Triceratops with like quills jetting out of their back and stuff, and I can't remember what the art, the the uh, article was about, but um, that talked more about it. But I just remember I was like, man, that's fucking cool looking. You know, that's that a really cool looking thing with a Triceratops is having these big quills poking out of the back, and yeah, so that's kind of what I did on online. You know, I have uh, these quills kind of jetting out of his back. Or spikes, whatever you want to call them. I mean, they really are more like spikes, but I call them quills. Um, and then he has like feather. Pro he have a sorry. He has a <laughs> Jesus. I don't. I don't rehearse any of this bullshit. It, this is all fresh, folks. This is fresh dialogue from me, on the spot, made up. So uh, yeah, here you got these proto feather, uh, sort of like a mane, I guess, down his tail and. Yeah, it just goes down his tail. There's a weird split in it because of, well, the articulation. I decided to keep it in there just in case, even though articulation kind of sucks with with his tail. It don't do a whole lot. Um, but it's okay. You know, for pretty much what I did for the, for the feathers on his tail was I just kind of took a little while with detailing them, you know. Um, I did sort of a black wash over them because I learned how to wash. And washing is pretty much just where you you water down paint really good, and then you just wipe it, wipe the thing that you're that you're uh, trying to do uh, with it over and over again until it looks right. And honestly, yeah, it uh, don't look too bad. I mean, it looks like what it's supposed to, you know, like a like a feather tuft hanging down his tail. And I some people might think that that split end is a little ugly, and. I mean, I guess it is a tad, but, you know, it's not like from, from far away it ain't too bad, you know. Um, and then, you know, we got, uh, for the back, we got sort of like a a red ochre with a little bit of uh, splotches of brown mixed in there. Kind of polka dotting and, well, not polka dotting, but tapering off into the more solid uh, light gray type with some uh, browns and other stuff mixed in there. Uh, which eventually transcends into a lighter color with a slight with a slight brownish hue on the front legs. Um, plus, his his uh, his knees uh, kind of retain the black uh, because this guy originally had blacker uh, legs. But I kept doing a wash for the legs and the green. This ugly green that this Triceratops was originally just kept showing, man. And I, I just no matter what I did, I just I could not get rid of that. Um, however. I mostly kept the beak the same color. I just did a wash on that, and, you know, it don't look too bad. It's kind of, it's better looking off screen. Like, that's what I hate. Why does, why do cameras, like, the camera changes the, what my voice sounds like. My voice is a little deeper than it is on camera. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it changes a lot of shit. Like, this, this beak is a lot more prettier looking in person.
which is sad because the there we go it looks something like that yeah i like that but a little darker um and here we have the eyeball close up i did did a gloss on the eye which if you guys if anybody didn't know super glue you, you take a stick and you just you just smear some on there to, to give it a nice wet realistic look and i did that for the nostril too and the corner of the beak there um did it on the top of the the horns here to kind of give it a look decent look um yeah yeah you know it's like a the eyes are like a dark brown with a black pupil a little bit of black surrounding it kind of like a rhinoceros eyeball think of it like that i was originally gonna have them have like the hor the rectangle pupils like a goat but then the more i thought about it a lot of large herbivores i don't believe have that so that and i kept trying it and it wasn't working honestly that was the main reason um he got two little punctures on the side of his head there because those were dents that i forgot to fill in and that's the best thing to do with dents and little mishaps like that. Just make them look like injuries or like scars. I mean, they're more of a light pink, so I guess I'd say they're more like an old scar. Um, This, honestly, was just something that came up from my head, like this design on his frill. It wasn't really, not the colors, but just like the sculpt. Like, I, I just kind of came up with that. I thought a little bit of the Xeno Chiva from, from uh, Monster Hunter, and I was like, yeah, it ain't like... Something like that, but with a Triceratops frill. I want it to be blue. And then, you know, uh, this was based off of, like, the more smaller Ceratopsids that had the same thing, like the Zootacosaurus and, you know, all them all them dudes. Uh, and then, yeah. Um, although, honestly, the only two places he has protofeathers is on his tail, and he has little mutton chops on the sides of his, sides of his face there. I, I put those there... It's kind of hard to see him, but I, I put those mutton chops there um, because I just I thought he would give him a good amount of character, like you know that. And if you're wondering what's up with his one horn, that is a deformity. I figure because you really don't see that a whole lot on like dinosaurs or anything like deformities or various other things because usually they're seen in a negative light. But I figure with horns and stuff, it don't really matter all that much. Like, but yeah, this guy has a deformity in in his um. Let me see what angle is that left he has he has a deformity on his left horn and his left horn is the dominant horn you can tell because it's a little longer and a little uh it hangs a little lower but um yeah the um yeah it got two split ends down here and that probably was just from like a, a growth defect or nothing nothing really like forced trauma or anything in his life more just like a just kind of a growth defect, you know, it happens. Like, it's kind of like a deer antlers, you know, they always grow different. Although horns and antlers, I'd, I'd like to let everybody know are very different. There's there's a very distinct difference between antlers and horns. Antlers fall off during certain points of uh, a year or like every other year and then grow back. As for horns, stay with an animal for the rest of their life and don't grow back. Um. So, yeah, like, you know. So uh, that's pretty much how uh, how the horns and antlers are mostly different. And then like this little design he got on his uh, frill there was also f sort of from a prehistoric park. I was going to put little uh, red ochre spots here and there just to kind of have it fill in. And I could have, but yeah, I think it looks fine without it. And then his face was also mostly inspired by prehistoric park. You know, he got the, um, got the markings around his head and, you know... Uh, yeah, you got these feet. I sprinkled a little bit of dirt on there when I was clear coating it because I figured it would it help some of the paint lock in and you know it, it just why not? Dinosaurs have probably had dirt on their feet, you know, so they live they walk around in dirt. He still got all this crap, you know, all this mumbo jumbo bullshittery. Uh and then, you know, for his articulation, he's still able to move his legs. As you guys can see, I painted over there over and over and over and over again to try to get it to layer um increasingly becoming whiter and whiter because frankly i i was you know this took me like a few days like days in between because i stay the night over at my shop so you know when i'm working there i'm there for a while usually when you see them animal photographies i actually take those a few days prior and then just upload them because i ain't got nothing to upload when i'm there <laughs> but um yeah you know um, I, I like them. 
I like this Triceratops. You know, he got a lot of character to him. He's a he's a cool dude, you know. But uh, I'd love to see him side by side with like the Feructus or something because I'm making a Skull Island Feructus, and that's gonna be sweet. Actually, I could probably show you guys real quick uh, what that dude looks like so far. Not a whole lot of progress been going on because frankly, I started on way too many creatures and I'm just trying to catch up now at this point. You know what? You guys can tell me what you think of this guy so far. Oh, oh God. Yeah, he was a Penta, he was a Jurassic World Pentaceratops to begin with and now he's like a, you know, uh, his bottom jaw is gone. I'm going to have our jaw articulation. You know, these were originally his horn, his top head horns, but you know, those are gone now. Um, then, you know, I fattened out his tail a little bit, fattened his legs out a little bit, all that, you know. Still got the, still got the action feature. This, oh God, I don't really know what to do with that. It's like, do I just glue it together or, meh, I don't know. Maybe make it look like an injury, who knows. Um, either way, yeah, Skull Island Fructus. Still figuring it out, you know. But anyway, back on to the star of the video. The Fructus will get his time. But, um, yeah, you know, I just, uh, I really like this guy, you know? I mean, it's, I try to put at least a little bit of heart and soul into every creature I make, um, regardless of their size or demeanor. Whatever they are, really, you know, I try to put at least a little bit of me in there. That way, you know, my mark on the world can be left me when I'm gone. Somebody finds these toys that I make and be like, oh, man, this shit's cool. You know, but, uh, hell, I don't really know, man. You know, it's, uh, I don't really know. You know, I, I try. I try, everybody. I try to at least make something unique. You know, in a world where everybody thinks of everything, it's kind of hard, you know. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's a Triceratops, everybody. Very famous dinosaur, uh, for a good reason. I mean, it's a it's a badass animal for sure. I mean, you know, it's a it's pretty it's pretty awesome. You know, I mean, he's a cool dude. But yeah, you know, it's a just uh, trying to give you guys just kind of a three sixty look. And there's that side. Maybe mug shot there. Front face side. Uh, there's the other face. Pa or not the other face, but the other side of the face. You got the quills here from the top. Got the, got the tail mohawk. <laughs> uh, you got the the behind here with the, the frill. Which looks okay. I mean, it don't look all that great, but it's it's fine. And then he still makes action noises, would you? There's the first one. There's the second one. And there's the third one. And honestly, the third one's my favorite. I, I love the way that sounds. Um, but yeah, everybody, that's, that's Triceratops. Well, that's pretty much all I got to say on him, folks. Uh, if you guys want to see him in any, like, photography shots, let me know. Um, you know, maybe I'd do a uh, photo of him and the Fructus hanging out whenever the Fructus is done. But either way, uh, you know what, guys? I hope all of you, everybody who uh, does this, has a good night, you know. Um, unless you're a pedophile, in which case, burn in hell. But either way, <laughs> but either way uh, for all of you non-pedos out there, which are probably most of you watching this, um, I hope you have a wonderful night, and uh, thank you. Thank you for watching, you know. Leave a like if you want to. Um, subscribe if you feel like it. Don't don't do it if you don't want to. Seriously, I I'm I refuse to beg for likes as most people do. You know the only satisfy the only thing I get from any of these videos is the satisfaction of the comments. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. So like I said, everybody have a wonderful night, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Yes.